In today's video, we're going to talk about collaboration and doing different things with different producers and finding people that you never honestly may have had the chance to meet otherwise. You might have guessed it by the thumbnail, but we're going to use Splice. Let's jump back in. So here we are again back in Splice. So we're, we're not, we're going to go to the community tab. In the community tab, this is where you'll find project files full FLPs and whatever other files for any other doll that you're using, right? So what I do, if I'm wanting to collaborate, say I'm picking ambient, say I'm, I wanna really make an ambient track and I don't have a lot of experience with it. As you all know, I'm an FL Studio user. I'm gonna pick FL, right? You can see the files. So sort from trending to recent. Six months ago was the most recent time that somebody uploaded a FLP for an ambient track. So what I would do, I'm going to listen to it. Now see... This was an accident. Those of you all that know me, I make cinematic music. I can already hear in my head, drums. They ain't weak like that, but I can hear some drums. My bad, I got lost in that one. You get the idea. I'm going to like that one myself. I might come back to that one. I'm actually going to splice it. So now you have all the tracks. I can open this in FL Studio if I want it. Go ahead and click it. Let's go ahead and bounce. Let's go ahead and get that, get that going. All right. So again, as an example, right, let's go back. Say you are a trap producer, right? Say you're a trap producer. Same thing. There's probably something a little bit more recent in here for trap. Yeah, trap is a, a more popular genre than cinematic music, especially when it comes to splice. Like people come to splice for pop, trap, R&B, kind of every sub hip hop genre, um, dance music, that type of thing. So for trap, say, so now if I wanna uh, you know, work with this producer, what I can do, if I like this individual's beat, so let me go back to my example actually. Say I like this and I actually do like this, like this one. I like I like the sound. I'm gonna click on Rude Dudes. This is the guy who composed that track. So again, for me, now he doesn't have any of his information here, so it's it's kind of unfortunate. Um, what I'd probably do is I I might search Rude Dude um, and see if I can find him anywhere because I am actually gonna use that track as a shell to add my own sounds. And I, it, I'll actually release the video and show you what I did with it, how I make the track and everything. So normally that's how I would suggest that you go about it. Let's look at this guy. Say we like this guy stuff. We see he has a SoundCloud. Now you can reach out to this guy's SoundCloud, right? So we can go here. Hopefully his website is valid. His page is not. It's on him. Maybe we go back to SoundCloud and we search this. It's your boy. George and Anderson, that was him. There's nothing here. And he also doesn't have any contact information. So it's not foolproof, um, at least on here. I could send this guy a message and say, hey, I saw your track, your trap track here. I love it. I want to work with you. A way for you can go about the collaborations is simply through the communities tab. So remember, people are posting these files on Splice because they want other people to hear them. They got to the uh, idea and they stretched it as far as they could and they need help to finish out the idea. This is where you can come in and fill that spot. 
So if you're if you're in an area where you don't have access to a producer community or a composer community or or different session musicians, you can come to Splice and actually use this section. Splice gets a lot of hate because of how easy it makes production. People don't talk, you don't hear people giving these type of tips about what you can do to actually use Splice in a productive way, right? There are real people on the other end of this. Again, I just showed you a list and you can scroll through yourself and you can have fun with it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comment section, what are some of your personal tips that you like to use when collaborating with other artists or producers or composers? Again, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel where I will continue to drop gems on how to actually improve your skills as a musician. I'm not going to sell you any weak drum kits. I'm not going to sell you any weak MIDI packs. I'm not going to, I'm not, that's not why I'm here. I'm not here for sales, right? I'm not even here to teach you how to make beats. I don't think that's my, my place necessarily. I don't think anybody can teach you how to make beats. I can teach you how to use the software. I can teach you the different skill set that, uh, how I got to get to where that I am and where I want to go, right? But I, I highly caution you coming on YouTube to find people that are going to give you the answer, the quick answer on how to make a type B, right? How to do this, how to do that. At the end of the day, you follow those tactics. You, I want you to let me know how much you've learned or how much you've actually accomplished with those tactics. Something to think about. See you next time.